domestic teen from California who went missing nearly three years ago has been found in Utah. Deputies in Summit County discovered a young man in front of a store who had been wandering the area with a shopping cart for weeks. Well, the teen either refused or just couldn't give his name, but officers eventually figured out his identity by searching through a list of missing people. The discovery led to an emotional phone call with the teen's family who had feared that he was dead. CNN's Camila Bernal uh, joining us now. Camila, oh my gosh, what a story. Tell us more. Yeah. Hey, Fred. Yeah, this is really a remarkable story. The Summit County Sheriff's Office in Utah describing it as serving with compassion. But I'll start at the beginning. There were a number of calls that were made to report Connor Jack Oswalds, and he's 19 years old. He was not breaking any laws, but officers went out there anyway, and they were checking up on him. Initially, he had refused any help, and then last Saturday, the deputies went out there again, and this time they were able to help him. All of this was caught on body cam video, and take a look at what happened. You look like you're shivering. You cold? You want to come sit in his car and warm up for a minute? We can't have you sitting in front of the door here all night. Sorry, I can't hear you. As long as I'm not being taken anywhere. No, you're not being taken anywhere. Just come sit in the car and warm up. Where's your shopping cart at? Got stolen. You got stolen? Yeah. That's no good. No, I was in the last one. Okay. Go ahead and sit in my front passenger seat where it's warm. Just come in here and warm up. Okay. You have a knife or a gun or anything like that? No bazooka, crossbow. Okay. Just have a seat. What's, where were you at when your shopping cart got stolen? Uh, What's that? It doesn't matter. Now, after this encounter, it was a dispatcher who went through pages and pages of missing children, and that person was able to find Connor Jack Oswald. They went back to the report and realized that he'd been missing since September of 2019 from Clear Lake, California. They were able to get a hold of his mom, and she told officers that he had a very distinctive birthmark on his neck. The deputies found that birthmark, and then his stepdad went to you Utah to identify him in person. That moment was also caught on police body cam and it was a really moving moment when the stepdad called the mom to let him know that he was indeed alive. Take a listen to that moment. The missing person photo that we located was this. Yes. And then the photo that came from Nevada for the arrest was this. Holy crap. Is it him? A little bit older, but yeah. And what stood out to me was the ears. Um, you know, not knowing him. Yeah. Um, he looks pretty similar to this. His hair is longer right now. His beard's a little bit thicker. Yeah. Wow. My sweetheart's life. Oh my God. <laughs> Can you go get them, please? <laughs> yeah, I definitely will do my best to bring him home. And the sheriff said there was not a dry eye in that room. Uh, we know that he is receiving care and resources and is expected to reunite with his mom. Fred? Mm. There's not a dry eye in the studio. That is amazing. <laughs> Camila Bernal, thanks so much. Thank goodness the story had a different ending than what these type of stories usually has. Um, he was found alive and well after three years, and for that, mm, 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 mm. no words can probably express the mom's feelings of happiness that her son is alive and well after three years. I know that 
they have so much catching up to do and um you know just wondering what could have happened you know but even in wondering that I'm happy that it ended well and not in tragedy so I would like to say to you all thank you for coming be blessed and have a great one